We've called for it and uh, the conversation is finally happening. Yeah, Minister Mamuloko Kubai will be joining me uh, in conversation. We'll be, of course, talking all things uh, politics. The ANC, uh, her, of course, vouching for the deputy presidency as well as her Department of Human Settlements. Perhaps before we go to this ad break, let's just say good morning uh, to, of course, uh, Minister Mamuloko. Good morning. Good morning to you, Jimmy. How are you? I love the outfit. I'm very well, thank, thank you. you. I mean, I, I complimented much. you in makeup and I said... You look absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. But I, I need to ask you, um, w with so many qualifications you have from Harvard Business School, uh, your master's, uh, a PhD candidate as well, with all the work that you are doing, how do you do it? Look, it's, it's prioritization. It's, it's knowing that this is what I want and you set time for it. The sacrifices, obviously, that I have to do, mm. uh, make the things that I can't do. So, yeah. I've always loved studying. I enjoy studying. Um, so it's something that I, I enjoy. I read a lot, mm -hmm. uh, books, everything. Um, so it's, it's, it's easy to do that. So I, I, I have a routine mm -hmm. um, as studying. So would work after eight, almost switch off a bit to rest. Right. If there are still long meetings, late meetings, then I'll get into it. But after 10, normally I don't want to be on my phone or waking. Mm -hmm. So that I rest. Four o'clock, I'm up so that I do the reading and preparation for the day and catch up with the studies as well. I so, think if you're metric people right now writing exams, thinking you're overwhelmed, this definitely would give me the inspiration I need <laughs> to keep going given your schedule, but also your background. Uh, yeah. Minister, coming from, you know, Soweto, um, did your environment also, you know, make you appreciate education to this day? Because one would say you're already in public service, you've already accomplished so much in terms of education. Um, why still pursue education is it your background look it's it's various issues coming mm. from a family that um for example amongst my siblings i'm the first one to graduate but my mother has instilled the issue of education seeing people who've gone to school um we always say i mean when you go to the limpopo family majority i mean you have doctors you have engineers you have lawyers so when you don't have a qualification it's right. almost like you are an outlier in the family so it's one of those but again when i was um in, in, in Parliament, uh, being in IPU, mm. for example, Interparliamentary Union. And then you'd find quite a lot of friends on the continent having masters, and I said, why shouldn't I? And then I became Minister of Science and Technology. Mm. I think one trigger for me to go to PhD was sitting in a panel where everybody was doctor, professor, and I was a miss. And I just said, it's not <laughs> happening again yeah. in the future. I have to be either a doctor or professor right. as well on the panel. 